Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share with you one of the biggest game changers in my gaming journey, the claw grip. You see, I used to struggle with executing precise movements in fast-paced games, <coughs> and my fingers would often cramp up after prolonged sessions if the controller doesn't have back paddles. But ever since I learned the claw grip, I've seen a dramatic improvement in my gameplay. I've increased my accuracy and even acted quicker than before. Now, I know that switching to the claw grip can seem daunting at first. I certainly felt that way when I started. But after practicing for just a few weeks, I noticed a significant difference in my dexterity and comfort with the controller. And trust me, it's worth the effort. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to master the claw grip, step by step. Whether you're a seasoned gamer or a beginner, you won't want to miss this. Nice. So, what makes the claw grip so special? Well, for starters, it can give you a serious edge in your gameplay. By using your index finger to press the face buttons while still maintaining control over the analog sticks with your thumbs, you'll have more precise control and faster response times. Plus, you can access more buttons without having to move your fingers around as much, making it easier to execute complex moves and combos. Now, let's talk about how to actually use the claw grip. It may feel a bit strange at first, but with some practice, you'll be a pro in no time. Start by holding your controller with your palm and other fingers, and then position your index finger over the face buttons. Don't worry if it feels a bit awkward at first, that's totally normal. Just keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. So, how does the claw grip compare to the traditional grip? Well, with the traditional grip, you have to move your thumb off the analog stick to press the face buttons, which can slow you down and reduce your control over your character's movements. With the claw grip, you can press the face buttons while still keeping your thumbs on the analog sticks, giving you more control and faster response times. The claw grip also allows you to access more buttons without having to move your fingers around as much, making it easier to execute complex moves and combos. When it comes to practicing the claw grip, I recommend starting with a slower-paced game like Dark Souls. The claw grip can be particularly helpful in Dark Souls, where precise timing and button inputs are crucial for success. You can use the claw grip to quickly access the face buttons for attacks and item use while still maintaining control over your character's movements with the analog sticks. Plus, as you progress through the game, you'll encounter increasingly challenging enemies and situations that will put your claw grip skills to the test. And that's a wrap on our tutorial on the claw grip. Remember, everyone's hands are different, so find what works best for you. With some practice and patience, the claw grip can be a game changer for your gameplay. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming!